Hey guys, welcome back to Wrinkle Circle. Usually I'm doing some sort of video game dropping type content or like, you know, some sort of replay to help you guys look at characters and stuff like that or something that I could just help upload on my channel to try to get some sort of views. But this time I'm just going to be starting to do like more podcast type stuff, discussions with you guys, uh, whoever's around to listen, the one or two views that I actually get on these videos because... I will explain to you why it gets a little bit more frustrating for normal people like me. I'm, I'm going to be coming out with my, uh, this thing, this right here will be the first one. Uh, I'm just going to plainly say it'll be the first episode of the Honest Streamer, Honest Gamer. Because, to be honest, things just are ridiculous when it comes to being online. And there's a lot of people in my boat. And we're just going to go ahead and start looking at certain things, having discussions about a lot of video game stuff for sure still pertaining to the fighting game community uh still pertaining to things about like street fighter capcom all that stuff because we do love that i do love that i mean that is the whole reason why i started the channel and i've been playing fighting games since i was a kid you know so why not have that incorporated in my life right but with all that being said of course you know we're just going to be taking a look at a, a lot of things and just having discussions now so my first one i would like to actually get into is seeing how I can have um, the game open in the background and have the audio play, which is very, very helpful for me because sometimes I've got a lot of noise in the background here, but it's all good. Hopefully you guys can just listen to me and all that stuff. So the first thing I want to do is go through the, um, some things on my channel of what I've been doing to help you guys maybe even connect with the content too, because why not? So, to do that, let me switch my screen. I am using Streamlabs. Um, if anybody is starting off streaming, I do suggest using Streamlabs. It does, does it's kind of more intuitive, and um, it's got like this quick optimization option and stuff like that, so it isn't that bad, it's pretty cool. So like, yeah, just going through my channel content here with you guys. So recently I dropped like tons of videos and stuff just to see exactly what, how YouTube really works, right? And still trying not, still, try, still not really getting my answer at all, to be honest. I've gone through quite of a rocky road with YouTube altogether um, within the last year and a half or more. Uh, it was about like last year I had monetization, but then something unfortunate happened and I didn't, it got taken away from me. I'm not going to be going into the details about that in this video or my discussions further about that. I'm just going to try to move forward from that um, and just try to learn, right? <clears throat> so right now, um, I, I've, I've been getting minus of subscribers, and I think that's because I've had to delete every video I had from prior to that incident up until now. So maybe there were some um, videos that some s subscribers were connected to in some sort of automated fashion in YouTube, so I don't know. Because I know definitely they couldn't be actual real subscribers. It must have been some sort of algorithmic thing. And that's here's another thing. Every time I keep looking up things on YouTube about YouTube views and what people do on YouTube and stuff like that, I really just find fluff. And I think everybody does. So I'm going to try my best to like expose whatever I know, if there's even anything anybody can know. But of course, we are still getting back into the fighting game stuff. I just This is my first episode of this, so you guys can understand why I'm doing this type of, like, I guess, um, podcast discussion thing instead of just dropping the game, um, instead of just dropping the game information, like the gaming information, like rank matches and stuff, right? So, like, there was a video I dropped, um, which is how Drive Impact was created. <laughs> it was, like, a little comical one I decided to come up with and I had an idea with it. And <clears throat> there is, like, 3,627 views. Now, I will share with everybody that this is complete BS. <clears throat> this is complete BS. Um, and I'll, sh I'll share with everybody how much everybody else on YouTube is doing what they're doing. And if there's something I don't know, which I'm clearly sure there's not, there is something I don't know, once I do express exactly what I'm talking about in this sense, right? And I will bring up those YouTubers because I just really don't care, right? There's nothing wrong with me bringing them up and showing what their numbers are and what videos they have. And, looking at their videos on here this this uh, content is transformative and 
I doubt that many people would be watching this anyways, unless for some reason some people are starting to get interested in what the heck I'm actually saying. Um, so let's see here. Um, yeah, so I did that. Then I did my Zeta with a pole, which is like me playing with Zeta, which again was fabricated, this 1000. And then this Tekken 8 leaked. Now this, this, this was doing pretty good actually. It's kind of weird if I was looking at it here. Um, it, it, like when I did um, do some promotion on it, uh, I did get the views that I uh, wanted to get from that promotion. So, well, you know, honestly, no reason to talk like that right now. So there's a website that people go on to that they buy um, YouTube views on. And many people are like, there's different websites that people go on to. And I won't pull them up in the videos, like what websites there, because dead ass, you could just literally type it in on Google and you'll find the top ones and you'll see the pricing on it. So like um, pricing on like a thousand views or something like that is like about $8.50 USD, right? So here, so like take that into consideration, right? A thousand, a thousand views is about $8.50, right? Even let's say, let's say it's USD too, because the most of the people we'll be looking at are like YouTubers from like, you know, who have who are from the US, right? Like people like Maximilian and stuff like that and everybody, and the reasons why their videos are so up there, right? <clears throat> and we'll take a look at that. So I'll tell you 100% that's the reason why because I'll be honest with you. My um, video here, when I first dropped it, when I, the very first day I dropped it, I got, uh, I did not put any of the, I didn't go to the website to purchase any uh, views or promotion on the video at all. And it was, as you can see, it was only at three views, four views. One of those views is when I sent it off to one of my friends and they watched it. I don't know how many people, and then I started putting in promotion on it. Okay. So then I went to the website and I was like, okay, forget this. I put some time and effort into this video. I actually want people to see it, which is unfortunate that I have to go to this site and pay for a thousand views for people just to see it. And I'll show, I'll tell you guys why I have to do that. Right. So, um, there's then when I did pay for that, it got to 971, right? Then um, I, I was like, okay, I noticed that at that 971, uh, some of those views were like uh, YouTube recommendations. Now, you could kind of tell if your uh, purchase views were coming from like outside, because you'll see like the amount of views that come from external, right? So external is obviously what you purchased, right? And that's uh, up to this point, I purchased 4.3, right? So as we can see, there's 4.3 on it. 99% um, of them were external. So we, it'll show direct or unknown. So nine, five, subscription feed. So somebody who, somebody, uh, probably one of my friends, one of my good friends is probably, is subscribed to me and probably saw this and probably played it. And, um, and then YouTube recommendation one, as you can see, I. S like I only still got only one YouTube recommendation from purchasing it um, like $8.50 four times USD, right? You know what I mean? And that's all I got, right? So here's the thing. It's not that, it's not that that's not the way to go. It is the way to go because what's going on is people are overboarding it. They're overboarding it, man. And so let's pull up the people who are overboarding it, right? So let's go to YouTube. And we'll go to like Maximilian. So like Max, for example, right? He's got on a Max React Street Fighter 6 Ed reveal, he's got, um, 111,000 K, 111,000 views on it, right? In the last eight hours, right? 111,000 views in the last eight hours, okay? So we would, if we, so we'll just give him one more there and give him this, thing. cool, whatever, right? Unlimited lead play now for me, sure. I think that someone is casting. Just pause, okay. So, now let's go to Capcom's Capcom Street Fighter Six, right? Uh, Street Fighter. 
391k views in two days, right? So you, this is Street Fighter themselves, right? Yeah, official. I'm looking at the official Street Fighter here, right? Like, you mean to tell me this guy has almost that in about, like, he has, a, like, a, a third of that in about a couple hours, and he will surpass that further, like, so far. And you're talking about $8.50 per thousand. Now, this guy is obviously a millionaire, and everybody knows that, right? So, and the thing about it is, he actually has already real subbers because of this type of like behavior that they're doing from years of doing this behavior and stuff like that they do get the subbers so at this point he actually already does have a significant amount of subbers there's no reason to cheat like this hard man when you already have like that much already right there's no reason for that you know what i mean we'll, we'll look at uh, we'll just just type in street fighter 6 right Now, like, like Justin Wong, don't get me wrong, amazing player, and like I think he's like really really cool. I've met him, I've met him in real life. I played him in real life once. I doubt he remembers, and that's all cool. I have no problems. It's all good, but even him, he's got to fabricate too. But you can see, like, like this guy hasn't like look at where he's shooting, right? Like you can see where his video is. And it's like. The background is not like these guys are not racked up bro like they're trying this guy's trying his best to even keep up that's what you can see the video following that he does kind of follows suit with max right because you've got to right because at the end of the day you, you can only hope to have that type of stuff trickle down onto your channel too you know what i mean so but like even though we can still look at justin wong's page right I mean, 294K subscribers, that's kind of like, that's kind of cap, you know what I mean? Like, I know you're sick, bro, you're sick. I'm not lying, I'm not taking away that you're a sick player, bro. You'll slap a lot of people, man. Like, you're, you're freaking good, man. You're like, you're a, you're a goat, you're a god, like, 100, 100%. There's, I'm, I'm not even trying to, like, make a video where I'm trying to, like, big up people or anything like that. Like, I don't, I'm over that. Like, I don't even care. I'm just making content for people who even care about hearing the real right now in my discussions and my podcasts against all this bullshit because honestly like bro again i rate you i rate you to the highest bro like you're a player bro you're a part of the community you made the community um like things that have happened to you have increased the community you are a guy bro you are a guy here and i don't want nobody to ever get that twisted that i'm trying to talk wrong about you or da 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm saying, though, bro, like, we know that you, I know that you have to fabricate this. You and your team. And that's another thing. All these guys have teams foaming, bro. Foaming on the headlines, bro. All these guys have teams foaming hard, and you and your team have to, like, really push this number. And, like, it's, I think it's, like, something like, I don't know, like, 30 bucks for a 1,000 subscribers or something like that. Bro, this guy paid 30 bucks 294 times, bro. Bro, bro, like, okay, now let's start, start taking in on the ones that they really had to push in some sort of real promotion and the cake that they're pushing in for it, right? Now, Justin Wong is one of the guys who's privileged too, though, because he has put in work in the game. Like, as you can see, look at the videos that he does have to come out with and incorporate the community. Big, that's big. He's incorporating the community. He's trying, like, the step forward that he's trying is much larger than the step for, for like forward that Max is doing. And it's not that I'm saying Max hasn't done his part in getting there. I'm not saying he hasn't come out the mud from zero because I, I can say 100% like he's had those um, videos where he was like, you know, like like they were making fun of like Marvel and doing, not making fun of it, but doing like, you know, suit get ups and stuff like that. And you know, the assist me ones, yeah, big time. I get that, I get that. But when you're at this point right now, you don't need to just keep crushing the people down who are trying to make it up, especially people like me who don't even have a dollar to do the type of promotion that even he's doing, that even Justin Wong is doing right now. Like, like I don't got 30 bucks, 294 like, times, bro. Like, I don't have that. Like, 
I know before you joined your team, Wong, I think you're with Panda right now, or someone correct me if I'm wrong, whatever, you know what I mean? But I know before you joined your team, uh, like, it's not like you were, I, I remember, like, I, I've been watching YouTube, and I haven't seen you denting up until you, like, you've been denting up, like, when you've been coming out, and I, and when I seen the team on your stuff, and I'm seeing the thumbnails and stuff like that, and everything's sick, bro, like, like, but you still have to, like, like, tell me if I'm wrong, if it's cap, bro, but, and I'm not dissing, because my, my, mine ain't going nowhere, mine ain't going nowhere, not even close to how yours is, bro, but so, like, all I know is that you guys are throwing out bare paper, and I hope that you guys are actually getting it back in sense of this, you know what I mean? Because it's, like, really hard and difficult, right? Like, going back to my channel, like, I was trying to figure out now, and I do know I've been annoying everybody, well, actually, not even, who's everybody? Like, nobody's watching this shit anyways. It's like, like, um, like, as in, like, for the people who it does randomly get to, I guess, but I was just trying to figure out how exactly somebody with no dollars can actually get a view out here. Because even when I did put the time and effort into that video, right? Um, even when I did put that time and effort into that video, the first two, three days was only like one or two, three views. And I really had to push that to my friends, right? There was no other way that I could have done anything. And there's this like YouTube like beta thing for um, promotions or whatever. And I know nobody's using that because like, let's be honest, like I've tried using that in the past as well. And it just like keeps charging you and charging you and charging you. And it's for like, like these automated views that end up not counting after. And it's like, what did you, like, what were you doing? You know what I mean? Like. That it's like all stuff like that, right? So again, like trying to like not get so frustrated in the meantime too, because I've been watching all of these matches and trying to figure out like, you know, I'm, I'm doing this show called uh, Need Salt with that. And I've been watching all these matches, trying to figure out the best times to pull up the salt moments and stuff like that, calling it on the fly, recording them out. Um, uploading them at times when I know I, I think it's good uploading times I've even scheduled them all this stuff so I'm pretty sure there's what I'm trying to say is that even if we looked at just this page alone man bro like 35k right like $8.50 US man and that's the lowest I found it at at a at a at a at a, at a website that won't get you banned or anything like that right because this website apparently won't get you banned and i've seen the advertisement in youtube ads and i'm sure it's, i'm only seeing it in youtube ads because i've clicked into the site but the very fact that it's already out algorithmic in there in the ad of youtube shows that you, you're not going to get banned from youtube for it you know what i mean because youtube itself would have probably banned that ad you know what i mean which is a whole new other game altogether apparently in this set right but let's just take for example right 35k that would be 35 times eight dollars and fifty cents man for this one video us you mean to tell me he paid for all of these videos like that man is there some sort of dark thing that people are using to just push these up to these type of astronomical numbers like i get the i get the thumbnails are sick they are awesome and before that unfortunate uh, event happened to me on YouTube, I was coming up with some pretty awesome thumbnails too. Like, th like, like I'm an artist in myself too, and I've, I know what a good thumbnail is, man. Like, and I, I've sat like hours making them. Still no differences in those videos. So it's, I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure we can say all those things and you'll be, look at this one, man, 113K, man. 113k now we're gonna keep like keep looking at these numbers of people right like there's different players right there's even punk the god right this guy we can even look at daigo right right like 34k it's like 
What is it these guys are tapping into? There ain't no way these guys are paying that much money per video, man. And, and if so, then kudos to them and their teams. And if that is the case, then going back to my original point, again, I'm not like, you know, kudos to everybody trying their hardest and doing their things and, and, and putting together the, the Millennium Puzzle together, you know. But doing this is just crushing all the normal, like, people who don't have a chance any other way, man. Like, I'm in my room, man. Like, like you know what I mean? I don't have a multi-hundred-thousand-dollar budget to spend on a YouTube channel. And why is it that, like, this is the only way? Like, even when I'm going to start bringing up this Real Talk stuff right now, it's just like, bro, like, I... I I highly doubt this is going to go anywhere anyways, but if people are hearing what I'm saying, then wow. <laughs> wow, you know what I mean? It's like, I don't, I don't really understand it at that point, right? Um, I could go into my analytics right now so we can see what my live view is now. Oh, the only reason why this is 758 is because I had purchased some views that never came in until today. It took forever. So that's another thing. There's these, these guys are purchasing probably from shit low i don't know i don't know if they are purchasing or if they're tapping into something else that i don't even know about like or the rest of us because it's not just me i have scrolled through because what happens is i've scrolled through like street like searched street fighter 6 in youtube just to see like how low my video is and i have scrolled for like 20 minutes still not seeing mine and it's just like man that's like really discouraging at that sense when like, you know, there's some, and like, sometimes it's like the same videos you're seeing in the, in the list at like 47K, 57K, 130K. It's like, bro, like really, man, that's crazy. And like this, how drive impact was created is trickling now. Let's see the last 60 minutes. Yeah. Only in the last 60 minutes, it's two views in the last hour. And the only reason why this was up is because I had, like I said, I had purchased that and they finally came in. So, like, I mean, right now, I'm about, like, 22 minutes in my first, like, uh, honest streamer uh, discussion podcast with you guys, I guess I could call it. And, yeah, this is the bullshit, right, that is going on because I'm not, I'm trying to figure out exactly how a regular person with, who is able to put in the hard work that they can, can actually just get something out of this, right? Like, it's just seems like it's almost impossible right and uh going back to like just discussion based stuff let's go ahead and take a look at um like reddit and stuff because you know what we're bored let's see let's see what's going on in reddit um grand blue i haven't posted much of the grand blue stuff because i was uh trying to make compilations because i was trying to figure out if it's short-term fighting game videos or long-term but at the end of the day it doesn't matter because i'm not putting 130k on the video right uh, if these guys would do a good service for the rest of us honest people by you know because here's the thing here's the here's the thing that kills me kills me too right every one of these guys like you'll see their videos and they'll say oh my gosh you know, there's people who aren't subscribers watching my videos. I wonder why when you have 130K and not, and 2% and of your su subscribers are watching your video and you have 250 subbers. Does that even make any sense? You have 250,000 subbers, 139,000 uh, views on the video, and 1% of those are your subscribers who watch the video. No, bro, you, you purchased all of those crushing everybody down who is honestly doesn't have that type of money for what reason <laughs> you know, like, to have one percent of your subscribers watch it and then ruin the actual natural algorithm that youtube was supposed to create in the first place <clears throat> you know what i mean it's like seriously so let's see here grand blue what's new here don't let the arc arcsis design character whose main aesthetic is death worst make <laughs> worst mistake of my life okay cool hey all anything that's like peter griffin related 
I, I, I just started getting into like memes and stuff for like video gaming and stuff and watching Reddit and stuff like that because I'm more I was more of a player and I was really hoping for my like skills as a player to like draw in people to watch me play and I had like and I'll be honest oh yeah Twitch too oh don't get me started Twitch too Twitch Twitch is like ridiculous like um I purchased like I believe it was. 50 to 100 view viewers or something like that for like a month or something. It cost me like $120 or something like that. It was crazy. And then um, I used it every day, every day, every day. And like a lot of, uh, and one of my friends would be watching me stream and some, and some, some people who would jump in and out sometimes to have like made like 28 cents from it or something like that. I won't pull up my Twitch um, information here because I don't know how, like, actually, you know what? Who cares, right? There's only going to be like four or five people watching the video anyway. So let's see. Even if that, right? So let's see here. So my Twitch overview, I'll show you guys. So my revenue. So around this point, I had a generous, generous person. One of my uh, one of my best friends, he was generous. He um, subscribed, and I had a few other people who subscribed, um, and that was like a once in a lifetime thing that ever happened to me here on Twitch. Keep in mind, look at the amount of hours that were streamed every day, man. Hours, bro, like bricks of time, man. And these are like consecutive, man. Fourteen hours, ten, ten, like bricks of time, bricks of time. Like those days would see me a dollar, 41 cents, um, 45 cents, 37 cents, 10 cents, 17 cents, 33 cents, 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 cents on cents. And there would be, I would try everything to get interaction. And even when I did, oh, I, cause I had to end up purchasing because if you wanted to see what this looked like before purchase, oh my gosh, before purchasing, you barely even hit a tick, man barely hit a tick you barely hit a tick at all of anything uh so anybody i'll tell you straight up right now man dead ass straight up right now if you're one of those honest people on twitch hoping for your personality to kick you off at zero viewers you better you better think again man it ain't happening it's not happening you've got to invest the cash it takes to take number one spot it's number one spot on whatever you're streaming not second, third, fourth, none of that. Because the algorithm doesn't care about that. Like to get the emails from the brandings and all that stuff, you need to have number one spot. And I can tell you that was the case because I was doing that with Dragon Ball um, Fighters when it came out. The day it came out, I paid like, oh man, it was years ago. I paid like $200 that day for that day to get number one spot um, of viewers on top. And I made like $28. And because what, what, ha what happened was I made a mistake at that point. I should have took the 200 and paid for the monthly, but the monthly of what I, so if you want to pay for 200, if you want to pay for 500 viewers in one day, it'll cost you 200 bucks. So could you imagine how much it will cost you for 500 viewers for a month? It's literally like 1500 bucks. Dead ass. And that's, and that's actually like USD. So all of these guys on Twitch you're seeing at a thousand or something like that, the wallet's out. It's out, man. So like again, I was figuring, you know what? I'm a good player. Uh, I'll 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 put it out there. But guess what? I didn't. I was like having 50 viewers, which which I could have only afforded the hundred dollars at that time, wasn't cutting it because it was over like 25 to 50 people doing the same thing at 50 viewers, right? And we're all kind of like trying our best to figure out like how these guys are getting there. I could see them. I, I would watch them stream and I could, I could get it because I could see the energy, right? I understand the energy. It's the same energy I have, right? Trying your very best. And then you go and you see the top person. It's just like, bro, what are you guys even talking about? Sometimes they're not even playing like, the, like Magic the Gathering. Oh my gosh, that's the worst. Like half of them are not even playing ranked. They're not even mythic, man. They don't, they're not even showing off what's going on in the meta of the game. And they're at like 4.5K like K viewers talking about 
some old set or something like bro like like like, like why is even like like why like why does anybody even care right like it's like bro there's people ripping their hair out against a card called shelly i know this is the fighting game podcast but you know what like it's just like so anybody anybody in the fighting game community um who doesn't play any card games or anything like that sorry my lighter fl fell anybody in the fighting game community who doesn't play any fight uh card games like that magic gathering Yu-Gi-Oh and all that stuff they're pretty they're pretty good games i play them on like my down time to like ease off the stress of fighting games like for a bit because fighting games gets pretty tough and, I, and my beef is not with fighting games at all like i mean everybody everybody has their way and everybody and capcom does their stuff i have a different like i do have beefs with it don't get me wrong and we and we will discuss all those beefs as well to be honest but like that's for i'll be doing a lot of these actual videos instead of just dropping like oh here's a rank match and da 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 da, da. and because you know what guess what you know what yeah pull it up so on youtube right now we'll go street fighter 6 oh no i know who it is the fg the FGC place. This guy. Yeah, this guy. Okay. Kazunoko? Cool. Awesome. So this guy's this guy's uh, see on his new stuff right now that's coming out right now. He just got he just bought his views now. So the views are coming in, right? This is called um he's probably doing he's not doing um fast fast views, he's probably doing a slow view integrate or some shit like that where it comes in slower or some people have this thing called youtube auto where they pay for like their next 10 videos gets a certain amount like that and that's cash too man so this guy he goes hard hard like at some at some point like not hard hard like max hard no way but he like like you know what i mean he's got stuff that he drops right Hold on, let me go right to his actual page. So this is him. This is his actual page, right? Um, this is new stuff. Kicking in. But look here, man. This is what I was telling you goes hard, man. Hard. 731K. I don't care if it was even a year ago, bro. I don't care if it was even a year ago. This is just a match between Sonic Fox and Punk the God, man. It's not like... Bro, it's 731k. Like, bro, whoever team is involved on this, there is a team. There has to be a team. Like, there's crazy thumbnails on everything. There's crazy promotion. I don't know. And somebody, if there's some sort of secret with TubeBuddy, I don't know. I've seen that. I tried installing it. Doesn't seem like it's any different than YouTube Studio. If somebody knows something about that, I don't know. I don't know. Again, I'm just trying to have discussions about answers and trying to figure out, like, what's going on with this stuff man because i'm just gonna stop just randomly posting like rank matches because it just doesn't even matter you guys could watch that on your own right like so let's see like yeah this guy this guy goes um this guy goes hard yeah it's like crazy amount of views on his shit man 731 it's crazy for that man popular i get it but bro all your videos are like you're putting like it's a lot of money man like that's a lot of money man like i don't know i don't know it's either that or there's just literally something i don't know because like i've done i've done this all this aspect too man i've done this stuff man i've done this stuff like man if i could show you guys like the type of art that i used to put in on different thumbnails from before with for genshin stuff and Genshin Impact is one of the biggest, if you want to look at the biggest, like, one of the biggest games online. There's a list of biggest games online. It's like freaking, it's uh, Valorant, um, Fortnite, uh, Minecraft. Um, like, you know, we all know the list, right? Like, like, that's what it is, right? You know what I mean? So, I don't know. But yeah, you know what? Let's, uh, so instead of doing all that, let's actually go back to Maximilian's page. So what we're going to do on my stuff now instead is we are just going to have discussions about the real shit. And so let's go take a look at, um, I mean, I have Ed's, uh, I have Ed's uh, trailer on mine. 
and it's got like what like three views or something like that and that's fine because everybody else in the world is uploading it but nobody else is putting 113k on that right so we're gonna watch his but we're gonna we're gonna mute the mute the shit right so I just want to watch it because to be dead honest I kind of want to just see that trailer again because every time I watch it or upload it, it's always in low quality because I don't have a good graphics card anyways. So as a normal guy trying to make it in that sense as well, I don't have like a $10,000 um, setup like this guy does or like a team that's spending at least $2,000 on my videos every time it's going up or anything like that. So, but yeah, Ed does look pretty cool. Um, I was hope I like I'm pretty bummed that there's no Balrog in Street Fighter 6 it's forced me to use Jury and I I freaking hate Jury as a character I've always hated her she's such a turn off for me and it's come to a point where I've used her to a point where I've liked I like I, I've had to force myself to like her the minute like my Balrog drops or anything like Balrog does drop I am switching it the fuck up because <laughs> honestly maybe Maybe Ed is going to be cool. Maybe Ed's going to be a pretty good like add-on. Somebody who will light the fire back to it cuz to be honest, I don't care. And like look here, he's rinsing rinsing the timeline because he knows he's throwing money into the video. And you know what? Why not just help him out too, right? Again, see, I'm not a hater 100%. I'm not hating on him. I'll watch your video and I'll give you a view and I'll give you your I'll give you your um, ad placement. I don't care about any of that. My problem is, man, people don't have money like you guys do to keep up. And some of us with real artistic skill are never going to be seen, man. Like putting like putting like 150 percent effort in a video like like when you guys just like stomp all over the rhythm is just crazy. And it's what? What, and the bullshit is, is that it's what YouTube wants people to do, you know? It's what YouTube, YouTube wants these guys to do, right? I mean, crazy, man. Again, like, yeah, I am hoping for Ed to be, to be really, really good. Just so I could have a reason to fucking care about playing the game again. I mean, I found some cool, um, like, controls that I use now. I, I purchased this, like... Well, not even purchased. This is my old PlayStation 2 from when I had PlayStation 2 when it was a white one. I don't know if anybody... Not PlayStation 2, sorry. PlayStation 3. I purchased PlayStation 3 when it was an all-white one. And I had the controller still. And by God's graces, it still works after like doing some fidgety installation on something. Oh, and that's something I guess I could go through with you guys right now, too. Um... There's this thing called SCP server. So look that up. S so S is in Sam, C is in Charlie, P is in Peter server. Um, if you have any controller that you want to use in your PC, if you download this this server and install it with the README, like it's kind of finicky, it's kind of hard. I won't go through that, but there's people with YouTube videos who have gone through it and that's how, what kind of helped me. What happens is it, con it changes whatever con like controller you put into your uh, computer into a, like a Microsoft one. It kind of tricks anything that you plug in as a Microsoft one, and it lets you use it. So again, it's um, SPC server, right? SPC server. So that's the cool thing. And I was going to um, stream <laughs> this like discussion conversation podcast thing. But I don't know all the rules on Twitch and what I can and cannot say because I, I don't really care about what I'm saying now, uh, like or who I offend or whatever like that. I really, I really don't care because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's just what it is, right? If someone can just give me the secret, on, I'm not even talking about making the money, but just like I don't even care about that. I, I can't even make money now. I don't. I'm not even monetized, right? So it's like just a secret on like what are you guys doing to like fabricate such hot like are you guys really paying that much money man because i have scoured the net 
for pricing on on this type of stuff, right? And it's usually the same around people, man. So it's like crazy, right? Guard cancel moment. Let's see. Yeah, it's like I've gotten to that point in in Grand Blue too. Like when you're facing somebody, oof. Yeah, when you're facing, ooh, that's funny. That was well timed. That part of the that part of the content was pretty time, good time. Let me see that. Anything Dragon Ball, I'm down. Cool. That's funny. That's funny. Why the hell can't you D rank in this game? Like I'm obviously salty right now. <laughs> right now. So there's some of that coming through, but why can why can you D rank? Like the point of ranked is to go against people on your level. I recently went from C1 to BS B5. Either I got lucky, had a good day, or whatever, but um, but now I'm just losing so many matches and I'm not going back to C1 because to hell with the whole point of ranked, I guess. Uh, no, um, I kinda, I, I get, I get it. You, I get the salt coming through that. You know what it is, bro, man. There's just some people who cheat hard in fighting games and I'm kind of like, I don't cheat hard. Like I cheat pretty hard, I guess. Like I cheat as hard as I can, man. Like I have some sort of natural skill in fighting games. I'm 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 not like Justin Wong good, and I'm not like I I'm I'm better than Maximilian. I'll tell you right now, I could beat him. But like I'm not like Justin Wong good or like Daigo good or anything like that. But I have an understanding on what makes them really good, and I can understand their plays and everything that they're doing, as most people can, even if you can't execute it. But in the sense of this discussion here, bro. Like, you know what it is, man? Some people, like, there are some people who will pick a character, like, say, Nier, right? And they'll cheat and cheat and cheat with Nier's combination of stuff that she can possibly do. It doesn't, and they'll get right up to S really fast. It doesn't mean they're an S rat, S rank player, man. And it doesn't, it, well, I'm, I'm not trying to knock you down or say anything bad about your level, bro. But, like, you got to, like, a higher, you got to a higher rank, right? If if you were at that rank, that's who you would be playing, right? Because like anybody lower than that, you should be able to beat them. If you can't beat them, then that is what your rank currently is. The game is evolving, even if it is a day, right? Within your rank and who you are and who you're playing, right? So my advice to you is probably watch some replays on, like you know, some play people within your rank to see exactly what you can do different. Maybe go into like people don't do this enough. Like, like if you're one of those guys who want to play, a, like pick up a fighting game, and be like, oh, I'll go into training like five minutes just to learn the moves, and then go into no man. You like if you if you're this salty about your ranking, then you really do need to go into training for a certain amount of set hours, and practice a bread and butter, and like just get it. And this is the real talk of the. This is the real honest streamer part of my podcast conversation now with you guys. Like, you really do have to put in that work if you care about playing that hard. But my question to you is, why do you care about playing that hard anyways? Like, if you're playing that hard just to keep within the ranking for yourself, then I guess you wouldn't be posting something this salty, so you're actually playing hard to try to rank up and get better at the game. If you're trying to do YouTube or Twitch, I'll tell you right now, bro, you might as well just start just doing it at this rank because it doesn't even matter what rank you're at. We already know what that is actually about now, right? So, but if you're trying to do this for getting better for yourself, then definitely just sit in a couple hours of the, and like, I mean, again, this guy, whoever this guy is, isn't going to be watching my video anyways. But again, I'm just talking to the people who will see this and be like trying to talk to this guy through the universe and maybe he can hear my voice through the microphone trickle through it somehow but like man don't beat yourself t up too much for losing too many games just like i i like it when i de-rank because it makes me feel like i could beat up on those people a little bit it gives me a breath of fresh air so try to look at it that way instead 
sometimes I'm in S rank, S plus, and I'm just like, man, everybody's playing so damn tight, man, and I just, I just can't play that tight right now. Like I can, but I don't want to stress myself all the freaking time, every match, every round. You know what? Let's just D rank, man. Just D rank. G collect yourself. Um, get your muscle memory back for the combos against people who are allowing you to get in. Remember your openings. And then before you know it, you're right back to where you were as plus. And then you're actually playing tighter because you've made it like you, you've tightened up yourself a bit a bit. And then you get past it a little bit and then you get back to your your ceiling. And that's how it is, man. It's not like don't think you're going to go right, right to master, man. The steps to master are literally steps. It's a mountain that you got to climb of ranking, deranking, going up, going down. You can't just go up the mountain straight up. Sometimes you got to climb down and go around and go up like it's 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 an analogy but like it's it's kind of true man it's in that sense of rank like that's the best thing i could say right how is your road to a thousand win streak coming along Oof. a thousand win streaks eh that's impossible not impossible that's really hard though that would be a great thing to YouTube if you were somebody um, paying paying the amount, right? If you actually got the thousand, like, and that's another thing. That's another thing. Joe, if Joe Blow, who doesn't win tournaments or what? Well, I mean, if you can win a thousand straight, then you're going to the tournament. You should be. Everybody in your life, your mom and everybody should be telling you, listen, man, you're paying playing way too much for this game. But for some reason, you have an amazing stat. Maybe you can get some money money out of this and go to a tournament. If you have a thousand, yeah, sure. But if for some reason that guy is Joe Blow, right? Who has a thousand consecutive wins, even him. What will happen is somebody like Max or these guys or whoever will take that footage and then put a hundred and fifty thousand K on it and then just get their own. And then him being as small as he is, who has accomplished such something freaking impossible, will not get the hearsay out of that. No, he, he won't get anything out of that. He won't get anything out of that. Why would he, right? Unless, unless he, because first of all, he doesn't have a hundred thousand dollars to put on the video if if he's sitting down there trying to get a thousand wins win streak. <laughs> Let's be dead honest, right? That's why somebody like Max or these guys are not doing things like that because you won't find them sitting down. Let me make sure I get master and everything. He doesn't, he doesn't have to do that. When he can drop the Ed trailer and put more views on it than Capcom itself. And why, why, why would you do that? Why wouldn't you, right? Again, I know it sounds like I'm hating on him the most, but he's the only one I can use an example that's centralized for people to understand what I'm talking about. If I talk about X person you guys don't know about, then remember, this is the fighting game community I'm talking about. So these are the people I'm just going to single out and talk about, right? When it comes to the content. Diaphone, he showed up out of nowhere. He's got a team behind him like crazy right now. This guy got a crazy team. All of it, some of it, his shorts have 500,000 views on them. Like, like, it's crazy. You know what I mean? Oh, and here's another thing. He's allowed to post this. <laughs> and here's another thing, guys, about the community that's toxic as fuck, man. And it's really, really, really unfortunate and crazy especially this reddit community too people like him are allowed to post this type of thing because of the amount of money that they put in their youtube and just so that so that it's so that the people can hope it would trickle down on their network stream of views you know but you're you're joe blow you're nobody and you put this up on youtube for uh, i mean youtube on reddit oh boy you're gonna have first of all the 30 to 40% of the people who hate the fact that you're just doing that because you can't promote yourself. Why the hell can you? Don't even promote yourself. We're not interested in you ever, right? Cool, but he can. And he, and he won't get burned for it, right? Again, there's two upvotes on it, right? I'm sure by tomorrow. But again, the Reddit for um, Grand Blue is not like... You know what I mean? You just can't. You, it's just so you be. Ca you just be careful with what you can do. I remember when I was doing it for Dragon Ball. Oh my gosh, for Dragon Ball Fighters, that was a fucking headache, man. The, every time I would post a combo, somebody'd be like, "Oh, don't post your combo, man." I'm like, "Man, it's just a combo, man." 
Like, and it, it would be like a, t a TOD too, a touch of death and everything. It'd be a good one too. And there'd be hate on it. I'm like, man, it's like, it's ridiculous, man. It's like really, really ridiculous. Like you guys don't have to back the people who are killing the algorithm. Man. That's all I'm saying. Just have a mind of your own and stop being zombies for the people who are just like doing that. You know what I mean? It's, it's kind of a piss off, man. Like it, it's really like, like stop, stop doing that. Like there's people who are going to put out good content for you that you would like. And just because they don't have the views or the numbers, it doesn't mean they're not good people or they're not people you shouldn't listen to. Right? Like face me in a match of Dragon Ball at that time. You would have had a really hard time. I was really good, right? <laughs> like, I was really good. Like, there was people I was destroying in that game. And if I, if I put my mind to it, it was like, I could have. But, like, at the end of the day, Dragon Ball came to a point where it was one-touch kills, and which I'm cool with and stuff, but people stopped playing the game. When people stopped playing the game, oh, and that was another thing. Who's another guy? Speaking of, Dragon Ball, this guy. You know what, we'll just look up Dragon Ball Fighters, because he destroys the algorithm. This guy. He, he's there, yeah, for sure. There he is. Today on the channel, the three idiots are taking on Okay, so I don't want... Oh, there it is. Okay, I don't have your stuff on my thing. I don't have your stuff on my thing, bro. I don't have your stuff on my thing. I'm not taking your content. I am not taking your content, bro. I'm not at all. I paused it. I paused it. And I have nothing against you. I have nothing against your con uh, content. I have nothing against what you do. I think you're a good player. I've seen you play before. Everything's cool. I have no problem with it. And that's another thing. I got to be very careful with everything in the sense of talking realism, right? Because everybody's just going to shit on people for everything, right? So let's go. Let's see what else there is. Yeah, so he's got 61K on Street Fighter 6 is easy, right? Um, cursed Dragon Ball Fighters. So 122k one day ago, bro. 122k a day ago? There's not even that many people playing this fucking game right now, bro. Like, you know? Like, this type of shit, man. So, like, if there's somebody who picks up the game, who's, like, really, really good at it, and is Joe Blow at home, and is a kid, let's say he's, like, 13 years old, 14 years old, and wants to build a YouTube channel on Dragon Ball Fighters and uploads the sickest shit... It won't matter. He d he's a 13-year-old kid who does not have the money for 122,000 views, man. Like, it's upsetting, man. It's upsetting. Like, or he's a per it doesn't have to be a kid, but it could be just a person, right? But I'll use a kid, for example, because it makes it, like, those are the people I would want to have the chance more and why I'm doing this more of a exposed for, it, right? You know what I mean? Again, nobody's going to watch my shit anyways, but I'm just saying, like, Honestly, man, like, like, come on, man. That's a bit freaking much, man. 122K, like, you're dominating the scene already, bro. Like, you're at this point, you're spending way too much, man. Like, this is the type of stuff YouTube needs to police, man. This is the type of stuff YouTube needs to police. Don't, like, limit someone from uploading videos that are free for them to upload so that they can just try to get one or two views because I don't have $500 right now to put 113k views on a video just to overlap the algorithm fuckery that you guys are doing man like it's just it's it's I don't have like people don't have that man so people come together with teams and just destroy this whole purpose you know what I mean and they're doing it on Twitch too right like, there's teams of people purchasing those viewers at different intervals, right? At different places, make like, like confusing Twitch, making it think it's different audiences and stuff, like, making it recommend things it shouldn't recommend, right? Like, it's it's crazy, man. It's crazy. Like, look at all these things. His shorts, shorts, man. His shorts, I get it. They do rank really high, and his look. Freaking awesome, bro. I don't know if you'll ever come across my video, in which you probably never will, because I'm not going to throw 150K on this or on any of my videos or purchase anything at all anyways. I'm just literally going to do content from the heart because 
that's all I really care about at this point now because honestly what's the point but like his his actual um, shorts here look fucking amazing they look amazing like I'm not a hater bro guys I'm not a hater man I'm not I know what is good man his color combination crazy is his close-ups crazy like the pictures he's deciding to choose crazy awesome so you don't need to wreck the algorithm by doing this man your work is good enough man your work is good enough so that you can just let people who have equal skill as you have some sort of chance with their work too you know you know what i mean like that's all i'm saying man that's all i'm saying guys for real Oh, man, again, let's see what else last that's on Reddit to close off. Um, tier list according to Beelzebub. All right. The one true king, Beelzebub. Okay, the singularity, yeah. Disciple of the wind, yes. Who's the worst? Luane. Oh, I don't know if I agree with that. I don't know if Luane is can be considered the worst thing. I don't think anybody in Grand Blue itself can be considered the worst. I don't think there is a bad character that bad. Like in Street Fighter, I can say Manon is that bad. And this was like one of the cool things. Any uh I'll close off by saying by giving some sort of information. Anybody who doesn't know at this point, I'm sure you guys do though. Um Grand Blue, it's got this like gotcha type of thing, right? where you can like get skins and stuff like that for your rupees and shit instead right so that's the cool thing if you haven't it, to find it you'll go into the online lobby and there's like a machine close close to where the machines are where you play you'll see people going to it it's a cool one you save up the rupees and you get that stuff again yeah guys thank you guys for like listening on to my like i guess my new um podcast thingy or discussion thing my new type of videos that i'm going to be trying to drop for you guys more often I, actually this is all i'm going to drop now because i don't want to bombard you guys with things that you don't want to always see and nobody's even really seeing anyways up to a certain point so again thanks for the people who are actually watching and i'll come up with another, another discussion another time see you guys